So this video is just a continuation of the Gaussian elimination process. Um, now we'll look at three by three linear systems, uh, which won't be done any differently. Uh, however, it will change our goal matrix uh, a little bit. Our goal matrix now is gonna be one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, augmented with whatever numbers we end up with. Um, it's probably no surprise to you, but if it's not making sense now, I promise you it will at the end of this next example. So in terms of this example, the first thing that I would do is I would probably rewrite it in a more traditional way. Um, for example, I would want to view this as 3x minus y plus 0z equals 4, x plus y minus z equals negative 1, and then x plus 0y plus 2z equals 3. Uh, it's much easier to view like this because now going into its augmented form, it's a little more clear. We'll have our 3, negative 1, 0, 4, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 0, 2, 3. So um, to get things started, once again, we know what our goal is. Um, we also know that we would start in column 1, uh, and we would want to get our 1 in place. So to do this, um, it's probably easiest to go ahead and interchange a couple rows. Um, so if I'm thinking ahead a little bit, maybe I'll take row one and interchange it with row three. That means row two isn't gonna change. So I'm gonna copy that down. Row uh, one would now be one, zero, two, three, and row three would now be three, negative one, zero, four. Okay, now that we have our one in place, we wanna make these zeros by using that one. So it's the exact same process as the last problem, we're just gonna to need to do it twice now. So um, for the second row, I'll take a negative row one plus row two to get a new row two. Uh, let me come over here and write this down. Maybe I'll put a line in here to separate all this. So the second row is what's gonna change here. I'll go ahead and copy the first row down. And similar to how I worked the last one, uh, we'll take a negative one times each entry in the first row and add it down to the entry below it in the second row. So that'll give me a zero, a one, a negative three, and a negative four. Now, for the third row, we're gonna to have to take a negative three row one plus row three to get a new row three. So every entry in row one, we're gonna multiply by negative three, add it down to the entry below it in row three to get our new entry. Uh, so for the first one, we'll get our zero, our negative one, we'll have a negative six, and then finally, uh, we would have a negative three times three plus four, so a negative nine plus four, which is a negative five. All right, so column one is complete. Now we're ready to move over to column two. Anytime you start a new column, the first thing you need to do is get your one in place. We're good. Um, and then the other two entries need to be made zero by using that one. Well, that one's good already, so it looks like all we need to take care of is the negative one. So to make that a zero, it looks like we can simply take row two plus row three to get a new row three. Uh, once again, that means only row three is changing. So I'll keep the first two rows the same. And I'll add row two and row three. So a zero, a zero, a negative nine and a negative nine. So uh, column two is now complete. On to column three. We need to make this a one. So I'll do a negative one ninth row three to get a row three. So once again, a lot of copying down. Uh, you want to go nice and slow to make sure you don't copy anything down incorrectly. It's very easy to do. And then if I run the negative one ninth through, I'll get a zero, zero, one, one. Okay, so still in column three. 
Now we need to make both of these zeros, once again, by using the one in the column. So for that first row, I'll have, we'll need to take a negative two, row three, plus row one to get a new row one. So I'll go ahead and draw this down once again, just copying down the third row to make sure I don't make a mistake. If I take a negative 2 times all of the entries in row 3, add them to row 1, uh, I get a 1, a 0, a 0, and a 1. Okay, now for the second row, I'll need to take a 3, row 3, plus row 2 to get a new row 2. And doing the same thing, I'll get a 0, a 1, a 0, and a negative one. So we've hit our goal matrix, uh, and similar to how I worked the last one, uh, you can see that this first equation would tell us that 1x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1. Similar, we'd have 0x plus 1y plus 0z equals negative 1. And for that last one, 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1. So simplify each of those. You can see x would equal 1, y would equal negative 1, and z would also equal 1. So there's our ordered triple, the solution to the original system. So in summary, uh, and this is something that you might want to jot down, when it comes to Gaussian elimination, the first thing you'll do is you'll augment the matrix. Okay. After that, you'll start with the first column. You'll get your 1 in place then you'll get your zeros in the first column by using the one. Once you have those done, move to the next column. Get your one in place. Use the, use the one to create the zeros remaining. And then move to the next column and repeat as needed. Um, to create the ones and the zeros, you have the three elementary row operations of being able to interchange any two rows. Uh, being able to add any two rows, and being able to multiply any row by a non-zero constant. You do want to keep in mind that, uh, as you've seen in these examples, we, we've only used those three things, and we've used them very carefully, uh, not only to get what we want, but also to not change what we already got in a previous step. Uh, so as you work through some of these, uh, look back at this example, uh, and you can see we very carefully selected the combination of steps, uh, again, that not only gave us what we wanted, but didn't change uh, things that we had worked already to get in the past.